Okay, then. You can do this, Shakura. Yummy strawberries. Master has the best judgment when it comes to business and food. We're back. And we bought a ton of supplies. This way we'll be ready for anything. We got meat croquettes, pumpkin croquettes, and crab cream croquettes. I didn't know you both were so into croquettes. We're not. The store was just pushing their sales super hard. Yeah, and of course we couldn't resist. <laughs> Obviously an accident. Give me a break, Azuki. Uh, I hope everyone's all right. And that the storm preparations are almost done. Oh well, as long as they're together, that's all that matters. Attention passengers. Due to the weather, we are making an emergency stop. For real? But we're in the middle of nowhere. We're currently experiencing extremely strong winds. As a precaution, all trains have been brought to a stop. Operations will resume once the weather conditions have improved. All regions should be prepared for heavy rain, strong winds, and high waves. Especially in eastern and northern Japan. The storm will hit its peak tomorrow morning and is expected... So this to may sound weird, but I kind of like storms. I don't know why. You can't sunbathe when it's all rainy and gross outside. That's true, but I just think that storms feel really exciting, you know? I can't believe Shigure went out in this weather. I hope she makes it back before it gets worse. It was a cat meeting, right? Yes, something like that. Basically, it's an in-person gathering for her online group of cat lovers. But shouldn't she have been back home by now? Don't worry, she's in a car, so I'm sure she's fine. Poker face sucks. Uh, I win. Why did Shaka always lose? Oh. 
Hello? Shigure? Sorry I'm taking so long. Traffic is really bad. I don't think I'm gonna make it home tonight. Did your meeting run late or something? Well, we got excited talking about cats and lost track of the time. Uh... No worries, we'll be okay here. You should book a hotel room or something. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm counting on you to take care of the house and each other. This really stinks. I hate the thought of having to be away from my cats for the night. So that's what's happening. Looks like we're on our own for now. That's crazy. I hope Shigure will be okay. The weather is getting pretty wild, huh? Whoa, it's getting wild? Has it in Myla's control? No way, but then what will happen to us if it gets too crazy out there? I'm begging you, Mother, be gentle with me. Please! I'm gonna go have a chat with the weather. Hey, don't go out there. Do you want to order a pizza? Like they'd even deliver. But look at all this delicious cheese. It says it's super rich and melty. Oh, Shakula thinks it's a great idea. What? <laughs> a blackout? Just stay calm. How scary. Anything could happen to us in the dark. <laughs> the cow! Don't move! <laughs> Did you seriously not see that? Yeah, what kind of cat are you? Come on, Vanilla, stop scaring everybody. I thought my heart was gonna pop out of my chest. What? Hearts can pop out like that? Man, having no power is kind of boring, huh? Wanna play a word game? I've got it. What if we all had a riddle contest? Uh, but Shuckle is not good at solving riddles. I know. I could tell everybody a story to try to help pass the time. Sure, why not? Sounds like a lot of fun! Tell us, tell us! Okay then, it's an excellent story. A long, long time ago, there were two cats walking through the forest one night. Hold up, is there a reason why I'm a character in this? We're trying to listen! No What's that? <laughs> Sounds like a party or something. It seems to be coming from that direction. Much to their surprise, they had stumbled upon a group of cats who seemed to be having some sort of drinking party. How odd. What are all these cats doing here? Well, it would seem we have guests. Why are you out here in the middle of the woods? Jeez, what's up with the interrogation? How about you come join us? More people just means more fun! Have some. One sip shouldn't hurt. Oh, wow, this is amazing. I've never had such tasty catnip juice before. It's great. Go on, have another one. Thanks so much. And so, the two travelers joined in on the fun and spent the whole night partying with their new friends. Oh, not there. What happened to everyone? Why would they just up and leave in the middle of the night? Huh? One... Two... What a relief! I'm glad someone's three, still here. The deep-fried tofu looks delicious. Five... Six... Strange. Were you at the seven, party? I don't recognize you. Eight. I counted all of them. But I'm missing one. Ah! Hey, wake up! Stop, I said to be gentle with me. This is no time to be sleeping! <sighs> Something wrong? Yes, this whole night is crazy! Didn't you see the ghastly woman in the well, too? My goodness, that sounds terrifying. No joke, it scared the life out of me. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Awesome, that story was super fun and scary. Yeah, it was a real blast. A real thriller of a tale. It was great, right? Do you really think so? Ah! <laughs> I'm happy you all enjoyed it. What the? How'd you do that? It was a makeup trick. Come on, are you serious? Since when could makeup remove your face? Well... 
Time for the next story. Let's do something else. Maple, I have to tell at least 100 stories. Otherwise, I won't be able to summon the ghost. Why would you even want to? Hey, the power's back. <sighs> Could we maybe try telling a happier story? Then just leave it to Shakala. Get ready, because this is a good one. Once upon a time, in a land far away, two close sisters decided to go on a picnic. Shakala and I are the close sisters. I approve. But the two of them soon got lost. They couldn't figure out how to get back home. Wow! Luckily, they stumbled upon a huge house made entirely of sweets. This bed is delicious. I'm starving. From that day on, the two sisters lived happily ever after in the conveniently abandoned dessert house. That's the end of the story! What? Is that really the whole thing? Yep, that's all of it! Didn't you think it was fun? Oh, uh, well it was fun, but it didn't have much of a point. Nope. <laughs> Actually, the story isn't over quite yet. I would like to add to it. Mm -hmm. Think of this next part as a sequel. Several days passed as the sisters enjoyed their new house of sweets. They had formed a daily routine. <laughs> Chocolate's home! Welcome back. Oh man, the boss was so annoying today. Chocolate's pretty tired. Sounds like you worked hard. Any idea what you like to do first? You could eat dinner, or take a bath, or... Stop! I'm ending this story. It was just getting good, though. Let's keep it PG. But I want to know how it ended. Fine, have it your way. I can always tell a different fairy tale. Once upon a time in a faraway land, there lived a cat who made an honest living chopping bamboo. Like I always say, if it's glowing, it's gotta be good. I bet there's probably gold in there or something. <clears throat> From the magical bamboo, she appeared. A gas. <laughs> like from the well? Reusing gags, are we? Okay, I'll tell another one. You'll like this. The young cat waved goodbye to the sea turtle after a long but wonderful journey to the dragon palace. But when she opened the treasure casket she had received as a gift, out popped the ghastliest woman. Again? It's kind of predictable. I'm over your weird stories, Vanilla. Sit back, relax, and let an old pro show you how it's really done. Like any other day, the lumberjack was hard at work chopping wood. Unfortunately, her axe fell into a fountain. And from the water emerged a ghastly woman. No! There aren't any stupid ghosts in this story! What? So it's not even scary? Weird. It's not supposed to be okay! <clears throat> Now then, where was I again? Oh yes, so from the fountain emerged a goddess. Tell me, oh honest woodcutter, which of these belongs to you? Is it the gold or the silver one? It's both. Yes, so I see. It's neither of them then. Huh? I dropped both of them. Say what? They're both mine. Oh, um, they are? Are you certain? Look, if you're lying to me, then you're gonna be in big trouble! Stop beating around the bush and hand them over. If you don't, I'll drain your fountain. The whole thing. <laughs> I'll compensate you. Give them up, and I'll let you read my super secret fantasy diary detailing the intimate activities between myself and Chocola. Intimate, you say? Done. <laughs> Holy wow, pistol to pistol! You just opened up a whole new world for me! Reading this, I just can't help myself! Reading these intimate details is making me so wet! <sighs> Thanks so much for this enlightening experience. You may take both the gold and silver axes. Yes, score. And thus, the lumberjack was able to get both- Stop the story! You guys know I'm not actually a huge pervert, don't you? Uh -huh. Plus, that's really mean. You've gone too far with your creative liberties. We're sorry, you make a pretty fair point. Yeah, we didn't mean it. 
It should be dreamier, less lewd, and more like a real fairy tale. In that case, I've got one. Once upon a time, three cats found a lamp on the side of the road. What's this thing? Maybe someone dropped it? it looks kind of old and dirty. For real. <laughs> there was a puff of smoke, and out came a... Ghastly woman. <clears throat> out came a magical genie. How may I serve you, my masters? <laughs> now that's a creative liberty. Master is awesome no matter what he is. What the heck? I will grant each of you one wish, whatever you desire. Seriously? Then Shackle wants to eat a huge fish, the biggest fish ever! As you wish, master. <gasps> wow! You think it's a tuna or a... A shark! <laughs> shark in the river. I'm more interested to know how it can fly. Now, what's your desire, young master? Um, about that. Hmm? The thing is, what I want... You can wish for anything you please. I wish for... I... What the heck is wrong with you? How can you say something so Try and have a little decency. Here? But that wasn't even me. It was just part of the story. I'm sure. What a terrible excuse. Right, next story. How about a palate cleanser? <clears throat> when the cat woke up, she was in a land filled with tiny people. This is kind of bizarre. Princess, the giant has awakened. What now? I wonder if she's come here to invade our country. Do you want us to hang her, Princess? Or burn her at the stake? Or better yet, we could peel off her toenails one by one. <laughs> oh, yeah! Giant's rampage knew no end. The earth shattered beneath her feet, and the demonic fire she breathed melted their walls. Hey, what kind of a story is that? I just wanted to give you your wish since the genie never got to in the last story. And what on earth makes you think that's my wish? I thought you'd want to get bigger. A uh, hard pass. I'm not a monster, you know. Wow, that was a pretty good story. In what universe? Here, this one is a favorite. Matches for sale. Uh, would you like to buy some matches, sir? The cat tried her best to sell the matches, but nobody would buy from her. Would you her. like some matches? Hmm. I guess I won't be eating tonight either. <sighs> I know. I'll use these matches to stay warm. That looks so cozy. <sighs> I wish I could join them. It looks so intimate. No. I was so close to being part of that dream. <sighs> I bet that cat cuddle party is so warm. This daydream. I can't help it. It makes me... What? And though she met a terrible fate, the poor cat's expression was at least one of happiness. Come on, May. Hmm? Do you have, like, a grudge against me or something? No, I just thought it was the perfect role for you. Well, I don't appreciate everyone treating me like a big pervert. <gasps> right. Leave it to me. I've got a great story. Once, there was a princess who bit into a poison apple and fell into a deep sleep. Is the princess going to nap all day or what? She's going to miss tea time if she doesn't wake up soon. How terrible. We simply must find a way to wake her up as fast as possible. Chocolate has an awesome idea! Tickle, 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 tickle! There's no response. It's almost like she's dead or something. I'm going to go get a shovel. We can't bury her. Cremation? Neither. She's not even dead. Hmm. Still nothing, huh? Stop writing on her! Kind of you. Though the scribble on her head makes it look sort of dumb. Listen, everyone, I think I know what to do. This is probably a curse, so all she needs is a kiss from someone she loves in order to break the spell. Yes? Yes, aka a, a smidgy smidge. Uh, wait, as in you want one of us to kiss her? This is all so sudden. Come on, it's for the princess! We have to do this! <sighs> yes, I agree as well. <sighs> 
fine, whatever. She can have my first kiss. It's no biggie. <sighs> Do your best. <sighs> then in that case... Okay, mine too. Cool, give it a shot. <laughs> She leaned in close to give the princess a kiss, and then she... What? <laughs> Another blackout! That scared me. Chocolate totally forgot about the storm. But I want to hear how the story ends. Uh, do you hear that weird noise? Yeah, I wonder what it could be. Kinda sounds like it's getting closer, doesn't it? Stop that! You're just trying to scare us! Ah! Was that... the front door? Oh... I bet this is just Vanilla again. You're right, it's probably another one of her pranks. Vanilla does love teasing people. It isn't me this time. Hmm? How did you get there? Oh, thank you so much, Gagel. Now Chocolate can see. There's nothing for us to be afraid of. <laughs> I didn't want to be alone all night, so I just decided to walk home. <laughs> <laughs>